Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Crystal Diamond Minds of Unity Pure Awareness. We continue to have intense energies pouring in through this eclipse passageway, as Mother Earth and all her children, the Sun, are enveloped in higher dimensional waves of pure light. Pachamama received two massive activations today on the Pacific Ring of Fire, with a magnitude 6.4 earthquake and a magnitude 7.4 earthquake in Taiwan at 2358 UTC, followed by a swarm of quakes. Keep anchoring in and rising up through this eclipse corridor and into our new heaven upon the new earth. We also had big spikes of white light on the Schumann charts today as Gaia's heartbeat reached amplitudes of 23 hertz, 26 hertz, 28 hertz, and a big blast of white light at 32 hertz. Heavenly 5D and beyond energetics fully anchored in. These incoming and expanding energies are coming and going in waves of creation codes. We ride these waves to the other shore of eternal bliss consciousness. We are at the precipice of our great shift of the ages and quantum leap of consciousness into light bodies of Terra Nova Gaia, Mothership 33 of our Universal Alliance of Light. Together we rise, starseed earth angelics of the 144, as sovereign conscious co-creators of our new Eden, our paradisiacal timeline of our ascension journey. A whole. 144 flowing in. Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful I Am Presence affirmation. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. Twin Energy Dynamics. Recently I've been noticing and experiencing numerous instances of twin dynamics across romantic relationships, platonic friendships, and siblings. A deeper purpose behind these recurring patterns connected to soul family or monad groups coming together for the next layer or level of spiritual and planetary growth exchange of information and energy plus holding space for one another while exploring their unique purposes within this dynamic so much love from valerieelster.com and today from divine sister of the light victoria lillian quest deep sleep coming soon then celebrate a blink and we are through the eye of the needle then we are on to our pristine new reality of eternal unlimited joy, freedom, peace, love, and instant manifestation. Alleluia! From Victoria's Light dot com. And today from Divine Sister of the Light Celia Fenn, the second of April, the eclipse corridor and pulsations from the Tree of Life. We are now less than a week out from the big solar eclipse on the eighth of April. After the lunar eclipse on the 25th of March and just before the 4-4 portal, we are feeling the building of power. We are especially feeling the energy of Ma'at, the great goddess of balance, after the lunar eclipse in Libra. What is out of balance in our lives is being brought to our attention. The energies of masculine and feminine are coming into balance within us as the new divine masculine emerges. Add to these energies the presence of a comet with a bent tail that is also transmitting our solar system right now. Comets always take me deep into my own consciousness and the collective consciousness. And so at this time we often find deep feelings emerging and needing to be expressed. This is also a time for us to wake up and feel the pulsations of the great cosmic heart that are transmitting through the Tree of Life template. The song is being sung of a new earth, 
of a great renewal where nature and animals will once again flourish on earth within us within our hearts a new earth of peace and joy is arising lots of love to everyone from celia fenn dot com and from divine sister of the light sophie gregoire today's oracle this time is deeply cleansing and purifying you maybe more than a time of birth it's about letting go releasing mindsets or circumstances that are no longer helpful for some you have felt an invitation to change over and over welcome this time as the right time to do so take care of yourself take care of your body this is a somatic experience go slow take your time all is well from sophie .com. and from divine angel of the light light worker forty four forty four rejoice for the family of heaven is here we have risen to open the heavenly gates allowing the supernal light to shine forth from within we illuminate the earth with Christ's light as we remember our spiritual origins and the power we possess to manifest our heart's desires and a world of peace. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Shay from Numbers by Shay Numerology. 4224. March took us slowly and deliberately to the top of the roller coaster, and there we sit, waiting for the drop. Do not worry, it is coming when how fast and how far yours goes depends on your personal chart and circumstances but you'll know it when it happens for now enjoy any quiet moments you get maybe take in the view finish up a few details and look forward to what april might have in mind for you and when your time comes raise your hands in the air scream if it helps and enjoy the ride it will be good to get your blood flowing again today's right action is to be cautiously open and optimistic you're not in control of the adventure but it can still be fun and today from divine sis star of the light aura four 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 the planet has been shaking in activations this can be felt on your nervous system like a jolt or just fatigue as we shift in dimension so does the planet in tandem Calmness on the mind, body, and spirit helps the nerves and the planet in transition from carbon to light. Dracos and greys did much reversal to dense humanity on this planet. Thankfully, humanity has awakened and will continue allowing density of darkness to clear and truth to be seen. Light is information and darkness is the absence of information. The age of light is here to show it all to transmute darkness into light with your diamond light body within the grids of consciousness that connects all ley lines and vortexes this is why humanity has been a threat to the archons you harness so much light the timelines are splitting now choose strength love and acceptance of yourself and today from divine brothor and sister of the light shri and kara Welcome to your moment of intriguing introspection beyond the realms of fear, hesitancy, and doubt. A deep dive into the questions of the ages, shared with the courage that may challenge perception, yet teases open the expansive depth of your conscious awareness. This is a rare and unique moment in our collective history. Beyond all sense of dogma, Master Lady Kara Ra calls forth the essence of all that you are offering the latest self-ascension revelations. With support of wisdom, this is the moment to know that peace, love, and joy are your birthright. Your alchemical transformation is here, and the law of instantaneous manifestation is yours to harness today. From Shri and Kara dot com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Mary Costello Consider we have been under energetic occupation. We developed many adaptations needed to survive this. Many agreements were made under duress. So, you could say we adapted to our iron ceiling, but the cognitive commitments we made for this are the ones which now impede our further evolution. Adaptation is derailment under imposed limitations. Evolution is the golden unfolding of nature. The iron ceiling is gone. In freedom, evolution has resumed. We are on the right road again. 
All deals are rendered void. Now it is asked that we pick apart the trauma bonds, release all adaptations, question the short circuits in our mind, examine every energetic commitment we have made for truth. The origin energetics of this earth have been restored. We are no longer a prison planet. We are living by the rules of nature again. So our minds are returning to full ability, full narrowed freedom and connectivity to restore the mind of one, divine mind. The field is ready to receive us. Harmonics of creation are available to us now. Let every movement now be a symphony. Question everything. We no longer need to tolerate or adapt. Feel the irritation. It is the incongruence of false beliefs. 144 continuing to pour in, seeking to adhere to you. Feel the frustration. It is the false limitation rerouting you to dead ends. There are no dead ends in nature. For every need there is an answer. There are no false beliefs in nature. Only truth proved in form. Release all poison. We are walking towards the endless horizon. Eternal golden dawn. The lessons have long been learnt. Evolution is unfolding now with honor to nature without degradation to divine humanity. This is a time-space for divine creation now. And today from divine sister of the light, Kirsty Elizabeth, 2424 Angelic Gateway, 4424 44 Portal, 6424 Angelic Gateway, 8424 Total Solar Eclipse, 12424 Angelic Gateway, 20 4 2024 angelic portal 24 4 24 gateway for the energies of a new earth accessing the year 44 44 april 2024 is an intense energetic charge full of codes for the greatest reset of gaia with the 24 4 24 being a major benchmarker of environmental change Creatures of the skies, land, and sea will recognize the profound step over from one time boundary to another. The great reset of the natural world will be activated as creatures perceive aspects of their own multidimensional existence. Humanity will learn to bring itself forward into better alignment with the enrichment of planetary experience and new cultures will be born. The sacred workers of the fourth dimension will be in demand for the fulfilling of the rose matrix in its filtering role as the ascension path to the fifth dimension further alights. More than ever will the ways of the higher heart be open to those who believe in heartfelt living. Descending energies will continue the ascension aspect of self-realization making possible a way of living in sweeter vision and its alignment with pure action. The heartbeat of Gaia will call to her children a new direction where the makings of today become the legacy of tomorrow. For those who feel lost or unsure, touch the waters and stand on the earth. Hold in your thoughts the understanding that you were made for the day when the earth meets the stars. Receive an incredible new perspective. Whilst there has been an overall focus on self-awareness and our relationship to others, we are also brought to contemplate our relationship with our environment. The disconnect of this concept to everyday living has had a detrimental effect on our individual life experience and on the conditions in which we leave our planet by legacy. The time of reset will look to bring back our understanding of living in harmony within ourselves, with others and with our environment. Kirsty Elizabeth. And today from Divine Brothor of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. The Eclipse Passageway, March 25th through April 8th, 2024, Day 9, Flowing with Cosmic Time. Dear friends, we are now fully immersed in the Eclipse Passageway energies, which started flowing in on March 25th with the lunar eclipse and will last until April 8th through 9 when the total solar eclipse will take place during the new moon. Our planet Earth is moving steadily into next week's total solar eclipse and the end of this eclipse passageway. 
The pre-eclipse light codes are already flowing in, aided by the solar wind, geomagnetic storms we have been experiencing on and off these days. These solar winds might speed up and gather strength as we approach the eclipse itself next Monday, April 8th. During the last stretch of this intense transitional period, you may feel as if being squeezed. The energetic pressure of the new information riding on the waves of light codes can feel too much at times. Some days you may feel you are on top of the world and other days may feel like the world is ending. Actually, both things are happening at the same time. Every time we are exposed to powerful cosmic events, we enter into a transformative energy tunnel that shifts aspects of our being from 3 into 5D. We are literally moving through an energetic birthing canal. Parts of our physical, emotional, and mental fields are being upgraded, and we are being reborn on the other side. During these energetic passageways, we leave behind outdated aspects of ourselves, and we make space for the new higher timeline to manifest. All this ongoing human metamorphosis is part of a divinely guided, universal cosmic dance. And sometimes all we can do is simply relax and be transported by the flow of the music. So if you feel you are not receiving clear guidance about your future steps, please relax. Often not receiving guidance is guidance in itself. Allow yourself to flow naturally through this rebirth and open your heart to the next adventures that lie ahead beyond this passageway. The details of your journey are being woven. Our challenge is to keep trusting when, on the surface, it appears that nothing is happening, or too much is happening, and we have no idea which way to turn. These days of intense energies, please give yourself permission to slow down, switch off, and rest. Give your nervous system a little break, and focus more on your heart. You are being reminded to have patience and to trust cosmic time to trust that things are being shaped and manifested on your behalf. It may not be happening as fast as you would like, but if you gather up the patience, it will be orchestrated better than you can ever imagine, all in divine timing. We are nearing the end of this eclipse passageway, and we are getting closer to the last push. These crystalline light codes are doing their final deep clearing. Symptoms may be felt in the chest, tightness, heart palpitations, and difficult, deep breathing, anxiety, irritability, skin issues, allergies, and digestive system issues may also flare up. Remember to give your body time to rest if needed, practice daily grounding, heart reconnection, and stay well hydrated to assist the flow of information, old and new within your body. Sea salt baths will also relax all of your systems. This journey is unique to you, and although many may share similar physical issues, we are each clearing and healing very specific situations. On the more positive side, as you heal and clear these issues, you may begin to experience a renewed connection with other dimensional aspects of yourself through deep insights, dreams, synchronicities, and other types of interdimensional communication. Stay tuned for tomorrow's update as we also near the 4-4 portal and the 4-planet alignment in a couple of days. Have a wonderful day. Much love. We are one. From DiegoBerman.com 144 Continuing to Pour In And today from Ascension Lightworkers to the Ascension Lightworker Collective, the 5D New Earth. We are on the cusp of the greatest shift in consciousness this planet has ever known. Your main work is to continue raising your frequency. When each individual awakens and steps into their divine essence, they become a beacon of light on a connected energetic web of consciousness. When there are enough lights, the web will become activated and the whole earth will shift accordingly. In April 2024, the energy will be more intense and exciting as ascending individuals navigate through this next eclipse portal. This planetary phase will possibly bring up a mix of emotions, including anticipation, nostalgia, challenges, and ascension acceleration. Key astrological events include Mercury retrograde from April 1st to the 25th, 
a time for reflection reset review and renewal and a solar eclipse on april eighth ushering in major earth changes collective transformations self-discovery and new beginnings these cosmic influences will guide us all towards healing deeper ancestral and past wounds leading to personal liberation and renewal empowering the ascending to embark on a transformational journey of higher self merging and discovery the first mercury retrograde of twenty twenty four will bring shifts from three d to four d five d levels of awareness leading to a journey out of our normal comfort zones possible experiences of restlessness moodiness confusion physical fatigue and tiredness as you transition to much higher levels of consciousness this period is about learning more about yourself understanding true love gaining closure from the past and setting new intentions boundaries and standards embracing this transformation as we move towards becoming the best version of the ascending self in 2024 ascending souls are expecting a turbulent collective reaction as mercury retrograde plunges many into the past with plot twists and turns twelve twenty one flowing in this may result in mixed communication and confusion occurring during eclipse season we can also expect unexpected shifts in relationships and past issues resurfacing for resolution and full closure every life experience whether positive or negative has a higher purpose and teaches us all valuable lessons people and events come into our lives for a reason guiding us towards personal and spiritual maturity growth and fulfillment by paying attention to those around us understanding the deeper meanings and embracing both joys and pains we can appreciate our journey and the lessons it brings Growth is a beautiful and intentional process designed uniquely for each ascending individual, leading us towards our higher purpose and ultimate destination. In this planetary heightened stage, many ascending will be processing and healing their self-abandonment issues, releasing and healing, codependency, people-pleasing, poor boundary function, caretaking, trying to fix others, overgiving, overfunctioning, proving self-worth, keeping quiet to keep the peace or avoid conflict, no longer walking on eggshells, tolerating toxicity in relationships, connections and friendships, no longer chasing or feeling desperate for love and becoming what others refusing to do the inner work want them to be no longer investing and in pouring self into others in the hope of them reciprocating as they rarely and never do no longer giving multiple chances to those who keep hurting you in the hope they will somehow miraculously change ascending souls can take this as a higher opportunity to acknowledge heal and release the past for higher personal development paying attention to synchronicities and dreams for valuable and higher insights and guidance during this challenging yet extreme transformational period trust that your soul has a plan and even if you can't yet see it completely know that everything will unfold as it is meant to as you progress on your path of ascension light you may become highly sensitive to people and situations in lower consciousness Finding what was once bearable can now feel at times intolerable and challenging. Taking steps to protect your energy, well-being, and peace of mind. Trusting your feelings and remaining sovereign and true to your divine alignment. Following your heart and having faith in the direction you are now heading in as substantial blessings and benefits await you. Past negative memories can influence our present clouding our perspective with deep buried fears being gentle with self when this happens allowing yourself to see the truth amidst the mental brain fog during this planetary phase we can expect endings realizations and redirections these are inevitable for renewal a reset and progress we can expect endings and releasing negativity making way for positive transformations and shifts understanding that fate unfolds through transformations and redirections with everything happening for a much higher purpose and reason 
Some people enter our lives for lessons or a season, while others will stay with us for a lifetime. Expect upgrades, breakthroughs, and positive changes in the next coming weeks, as the next level of your 5D conscious life works to manifest itself in the physical outer reality. Welcome this new cosmic portal gateway with courage, endurance, openness, and positivity. Your entire world is about to change for the better, and it can only change from the inside out. You are amongst the pioneers. You are the ones who will embody this change first. In loving and devoted ascension service from Ascension Lightworkers. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn 144 God Code. Choosing love, freedom, and peace from emotional entanglements is peaking as we move through the last days of Venus and Pisces and into Venus and Aries on the 5th. Focus on gently clearing the emotions, heart chakra, solar plexus chakra, anger, regret, pain in the physical body may also be felt, requiring holistic care to release the energies. We are entering a season of your emotional rebirth and expansion. This cycle is for you, your children, and future generations. The legacy of love is the new earth timeline. We are here. We are in it. Uphold God's plans and do your best to move through the shift into the new age of Aquarius. Let your old life go so you can prosper and thrive in the new earth where love has won. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godcode.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Tuesday, April 2nd, the moon ruler of our emotional body is in Sirius, Capricorn, sign of the goat. Today she will make many connections. Jupiter, ruler of our perceptions. Chiron, ruler of past life wounds. Uranus, planet of revelations. Mercury, ruler of the mental realm. Venus, planet that rules our sense of self-worth. And Neptune, ruler of self-sacrifice. The two aspects that are the most challenging today are to Maverick Chiron, ruler of fragmentation and psychic debris, and Trickster Mercury, who just turned to retrograde motion yesterday, ruler of opinions and reactivity. We may be experiencing difficult inner thoughts or painful outer communications. However, it is an opportunity for healing nonetheless. If we can look at things from a higher spiritual perspective and remain open to divine aha moments, then what was needed for an aspect of our soul growth will have been accomplished. Remember, we are nearing a new moon solar eclipse on April 8th, so we may have many moments related to clearing, releasing, shifting, and evolving that take place. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com and today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, last quarter moon in Capricorn, Mars in Pisces, square Pallas retrograde in Sagittarius, halfway between eclipses, halfway between past and future, standing at the intersection, attempting to look both ways at the same time. Janus stirs in the background, nerves rattle, grounding is important, interdimensional gates stand open. All time coalescing into the now. New chapters beginning, old chapters ending. The atmosphere feels heavy, like everything suddenly has more significance than before. We are torn between excitement and trepidation, adventure and stability. Actions have a ripple effect. A strategic revision of plans before moving forwards is perhaps wise. The Sabian symbol of the moon is a fire worshipper meditates on the ultimate realities of existence. It tells us all we need to know to move through these potent energies. Cultivate stillness. There is more to life than we see. Beneath consensus, reality lies a multitude of other realities. From idea to manifestation, raw energy can be molded and shaped to your desires. Hold the vision steady in your mind. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zoltkeen Times, Keen 164, Yellow Galactic Seed. 
Galactic is the name for the number 8, and its keywords are harmony, integrity, and model. The eighth day of a wave spell is all about restoring harmony in your life and understanding the value of this balance. If you have fallen out with someone, make it up to them today. You will feel warm and fuzzy inside if you make amends. It is also a great day for making and enjoying music, so get into your groove. Today is yellow seed, which represents targeting, flowering, and awareness. Yellow seed days are all about planting ideas, sharing wisdom, and raising awareness. As it is a galactic day, this awareness should be about the importance of harmony. Try to get along with everyone that you encounter today. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Galactic Seed, 8 Khan, Keen 164, 2nd of April 2024, Seeding Harmony, 2 4 20, 24, equal 2 4 8, equal 2 12, equal 2 3, equal 5, 2 4 8, Progressive Abundance Gate, Day Codes, 2 Partner Twin, Cooperation, Alliances, Duality, 5 Freedom Change, Transformation, Movement, Liberation, Month Year Codes, 4 Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic, 8 Infinite Abundance, Source Flow, 12 Acquiring Spiritual Strength, Wisdom, 3 Holy Trinity, Joy, Communication, Creativity, 2 20 The Awakening, Clear Vision, 24 Charisma, Happiness, Healing, Joy, Keen 164 equal 11 equal 2. 11 portal duality doorway. We are walking through doorways together into the new harmonious world. Today we are seeding our new world as the dream of harmony takes root. Day 8 in the red earth wave spell of evolution through navigating our way through the signs, synchronicity, and earth magic. Flowing and aligning with the rhythms and cycles of Nova Gaia. Today we are integrating our capacity to listen to the signs and bring our minds to focus on harmonic, congruent, and creative thoughts, strongly in alignment with Mother Gaia, her nature, and her cycles, as we welcome a new harmonic cycle of peace. Tone of Creation, Galactic Tone 8 in the Mental Realm, Action Modeling, Power Harmonize, Essence Integrity. The galactic tone will influence much mental analysis today. The most important factor is that we model integrity in our thoughts, words, and actions. The principles of honesty, integrity, congruency, and transparency are becoming ingrained in the foundations of our new world. We are modeling what it is to be a co-creator of this new world. Are our intentions based on harmony through integrity of being? It is time to walk our talk. We need to reflect on the messages from spirit and ensure that we are aligned in order to co-create more harmony in our world. Our plans need to be transparent and for the highest good of our community and planet for them to hold up in these new energies. Our projects and business models will then serve as a model for others following in our footsteps who hold the ideals of unity, peace, and harmony as a priority. At Tone 8, we have entered a new scale, and we are so proud. We just have to model ourselves for others. We have also mastered harmony at this stage. We are galactic, and don't we know it? Today, we are modeling galactic culture and what it is to live in harmony with all sentient beings throughout the omni-universe. Today's question is, how can I model a higher octave of harmonic mind that seeds my beautiful new life and the new time? Am I choosing a harmonic reality, seated on beauty, elegance, and peace, reflecting time equals art? Divine blessings for the beautiful new doors opening wide today, leading to our elegant new world. In la ketch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 164, Yellow Galactic Seed. The mantra, the code for today is, I harmonize in order to target modeling awareness i seal the input of flowering with the galactic tone of integrity i am guided by the power of elegance and on this powerful day of activations transformations and manifestations let us know beloved beings of light in the comments below what you're feeling what you're seeing 
your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcription of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful I Am Presence affirmation from Divine Sistar of the Light, Anrita Melchizedek. Beloved I Am Presence, I am the loving presence of my God Self and Universe. I am the divine alchemical marriage of my masculine and feminine higher selves. I am the innocence of my Christ Self and inner child. All gateways to the kingdom of Mother, Father, God ignite for me through my loving heart and higher mind. I am all that I am. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.